Hello, this is You Mary Craft, and this is part five, I think, of the how to create an adventure map series which I'm doing. Um, so, okay, the last video was me showing an example of a challenge which was parkour up the town into the score. Um, now I'm just going to recap some moderation, um, some changes, some alterations I did with the notes. Um, Okay, so um, before I just had it as a chat option, uh, but now I've added uh, also a certain option where you can also choose box. Um, most people do go with either chat, signs, or text documents because it's got the replayability where if you have multiple people playing the map, you can just give them the notes and they can read them. But with box, you can only like fit nine in the dispenser or like so many in a chest, um, and this quite awkward if from the replayability but I don't want it in this map so I've also added the option of box um, now I don't don't believe anyone else has given the option in any previous adventure maps but they probably have um, so yeah this is just a example of what you could do if you wanted to put some extra redstone into it it's not too much redstone it's like by right there there's three RS null arches one for chat one for the uh, book, and then there's just, just a main one by here, um, which um, locks those two in. Um, so if I just stand on here, nothing happens. Um, but I'll I'll show you books, and I'll reset the map. I'll show you chat after. So select books. So as you see, that got pulled up there. If I stand on it now, a book get the spence in your hand, and you can just like you you I believe you can run straight through, and you'll still get the book. But um, I do like the layout as well of books. I find they're a lot nicer, and uh, and they're easier to keep if you want to get rid of them. You just chuck one out. If you want to keep it, you just keep your inventory. It's quite simple. Um, so yeah, your mother says, "Get up! You're late for school. Quickly, you missed the bus. Quest, get to the bus." Um, I believe I've shown you that already, so there's no point. And you're going through the all I've written in there too much. Um, and you can have a look around the house then, do whatever you want, and then as you walk out here then. You receive another book, which comes out of here. Um, just um, I true do try to make the notes very hard to miss. So, uh, if you have your sign volume on, you can hear any notes getting dispensed. And also, I'm pretty sure with the deal going to inventory, unless it's one of those random books that like fly off in all directions. But majority of the time, you should receive the book. Um, so number two, then says so what even ever need to say. Uh, and so, and that's basically the option. I will have this continuing throughout the entire map. Um, it will be complicated since I'll have to have redstone going throughout the entire map, just from that one little area by here. But I believe I, I'll be able to do it quite easily. Um, probably have some instant red, instant wires going along here, sorting all that out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to reset the map now and show you what it's like with the chat. Okay, I'm back now, and as you see, everything's been reset. Um, last come down into place, and I haven't got any books in my inventory. Um, so let's select the chat option. That opens up, you've got a better view of that opening up then. So you can't get out until you select an option, and then if you walk onto here, you get a whole lot of text, um, which says the exact same thing as the book did. And then uh, also, these pressure plates are locked, so you can only get one of a book, say, for instance, or one message so they run off an RS note that doesn't annoy you if you just want to walk back into the house. It can get quite annoying, like you can lose which quest you're on and stuff like that. So I just have an RS, RS no latch and it sorts out all that. And I come here then and gives me the other quest. Um, and as before you can't um, do it again or off an RS no latch. And that pretty also controls then the bus thing, but uh, that's something different. Um, so that's pretty much the layout I've got with the options. Um, if you do want me to go into any detail with the stuff by here, just give me, a, just ask me, and I'll um, do a detailed tutorial on how to sort all this out by here. Not too hard, like I said, three hours and all arches, and it's pretty much done. Um, so yeah, um, so that's that. This here I've got is how I've laid the box out. Now this is quite useful. I've got the books in the signs. You can duplicate them through the signs. I don't know where I had them. They just look nice. And it is actually the book in there. Um, so, 
But if you pick Blocky from the sign, obviously it, it maxes out your being survival. Um, so basically, you got four of the same book. If you just ho hover over them and press your um, pick block key, you can have looking controls for that. You can actually duplicate the books. So that's why we got four of them. If you're wondering about that. Um, but I just got all note ones, all note twos, and then they're gonna have them going all the, all the way along. Then this is just for me to keep re um, keep note of more I do have on the notes. Uh, any side quests or anything, so I can know what on earth is happening in my storyline. And um, so it is quite nice to keep a little like documented log of your storyline, so you don't have to go run through your entire map and read all the signs. Just to, like recap if you like, don't go on it for a while. And um, this is another reason why most people go with uh, text documents because it's easier to edit. And um, with a with a book, say for instance, I want to change a text, I would have to rewrite the entire book and go through all the all, all the buildings and edit them. So you may not want to add a book to your adventure map with a storyline because it is a bit tedious with getting it written down. But it I like I said I do prefer the layout and how it's in your inventory. You can get rid of it when you want to, you can keep it if you want to. Um and you can look at it whatever time you want to. Um it's kind of the same with chat though. It's all personal preference really. I couldn't really make the decision myself, that's why I put the option in. But just for you when you make your own adventure map and um, just let you know the pros and cons of each one. Um, so books are a bit tedious, um, but the the text documents are better for the uh, maker of the adventure map. But text documents, I, I find they're horrible for the user. Um, if you record a video while you're on the adventure map, you have to kind of edit in the words if you want to the, want the viewers to see them. Um, it's a bit yeah. There's pros and cons of both of them. I'm just giving them to you so you can make your own decision, basically. So, um, yeah, I think I covered everything I wanted to in this video. Just a recap of my what I've edited inside there as far as the storyline goes. Um, with an adventure map like this where there's a storyline to it, it is the main part of it. This the reason why you play it. With puzzle maps, with its only puzzles, I find they're a bit... Like, at certain points, you just think to yourself, why on earth am I like, doing this at the like getting bored of it, but I do like to add story because it makes you want to carry on and finish the map if it's a good storyline that is. Um, so yeah, I hope the storyline is. Not, I don't think it's going to be the best storyline ever. It's going to do its job. Um, when you make your own adventure map, I wouldn't. I I I'd never recommend doing too much storyline as long as it's good and gets and and gives you a reason for doing stuff. Um, it's a good storyline. Um, if you want to go into more depth, though, that's up to you. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Um, next video, I'll probably be going on to um, loot or where I got my chests and some stuff in there. It's, it's uh, a reason to go around the map, really, and have a look at every building. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And goodbye.